Back here, the LA Rams are home after Sunday's Super Bowl. Today, players are talking to reporters for the first time since that disappointing loss. Cake and I's Dave Lopez live at the Rams training facility. He's in Thousand Oaks for us today. Dave. Well, it's sort of like a postmortem, if you will. The players are coming here to clean out their lockers. They have different homes to go to, which they're going to do. Uh, I don't know if they collected their Super Bowl uh, checks today or if that comes later in the mail, but uh, everything is going to be wrapping up today. Uh, the head coach, Sean McVay, is going to be addressing the media in about 45 minutes from now. But the players had like an open house for the media as they were cleaning out their lockers, reflecting. It was a great season, a great season that for many, if you're a Ram fan, and it just one game shy. For the Rams, it was time to clean out the locker and reflect again. Reflect on a great season, a great season that ended just one game shy, 13 to 3. Something that was still on their minds as they packed up to go to their separate homes. Yeah, we got there. You know, it was a hard fought game. You know, 13 um, 3 was a close game, so um, it's, a, it's a, lot, a lot of good, a lot of bad, but like I said, it's just something you learn from it and, and trying to work to get back there. You had a chance to watch the game back? Uh, no, no, I have not. And, you know, that's okay. You know, I mean, sometimes you just need, you know, just a little time away from the game. Uh, I'm sure I'll check it out again, but, you know, I, I pretty much vividly remember every single play. One thing you can say about this team, I, I do believe they'll be back. You know, whether it's new faces, um, same faces, um, I think Coach McVay and, and the staff here and, and, and some of the key players here. Um, have the talent and the expertise to get them over that hump. My hats go off to the New England Patriots. They played a great game. Uh, they did what they had to do to win. Some of the Ram players said they have not yet seen the game films, but when they do, this play will stick out. A pass to Brandon Cook, who was wide open in the end zone. Had that pass been completed, the Rams would have gone ahead 7-3 to three in the third quarter. And then, who knows? The one big maddening thing about uh, covering sports and Super Bowls in particular, you can go crazy just thinking about one play, one, uh, if this, if that. It'll drive you crazy. Just a few minutes ago, Jared Goff, the quarterback, who threw that pass and who many said he was just a little bit late on getting that ball into the end zone, he addressed the media. I don't think the game was by any means too big for us. We'd played in big games and just didn't execute. And, and I think there will be some things that, you know, that if you go through that week, those two weeks, you can... You know, in hindsight, what would I rather have done? And, and there, I mean, there's probably not much, but there's some little things that you probably could tweak. So he's young, and of course, everyone says you can get back. You're still young enough in your career, as is this entire Ram team. There are also a lot of free agents that uh, are going to see if they're going to sign them or not, and I'm sure McVay will address that issue a little bit today. Uh, great season. They came close, but no cigar. And uh, one other thought as they are cleaning out their lockers and talking about what could have been, the New England Patriots are having a parade. Darn it for the sixth time. Back to you in the studio. Oh, that one hurt, Dave. Thanks.